Hi everyone, how are you doing? How is everything going? Looks like after the success of Aptera at CES, Aptera is doing many things and they're continuing to add solar panel not only to their vehicle, but the other vehicles. And so that's what brought this subject up to my attention. And that's what we're gonna talk about, which solar panel would be better as far as, well, you know what, let's just get into this. Welcome back to my channel. It's good to have you here. So we're going to talk about actually the Cybertruck is getting solar panels and it was brought out at CES. And we know that Aptera is already providing solar panels to other EVs. And so we are going to talk about two. Which one do you think is going to be better? And first of all, we're going to talk about the Cybertruck. We know that after the Cybertruck was launched, there was no word about solar options coming to the Cyber pickup truck at all. None whatsoever. Even though Elon Musk did hint about possibly adding solar panels to the back of the truck. Of course, that did not happen. So now there is a third party that has decided to offer its own solution and it is even more ambitious an entire solar cell wrap for the Cybertruck. You heard that right. There is going to be a wrap that's actually solar panels for the Cybertruck. Now, this is actually being produced by Sunflare Solar. It is a developer of flexible solar cells that can be used as a wrap, which is very interesting. They claim to have wrapped the entire Cybertruck with it to produce up to 1.5 kilowatts of solar power. So that's very interesting. Um, 1.5 kilowatt of power. It looks like that that would eventually get the Cybertruck up to about 15 miles a day in the sunny area. And so... That's actually a, a small amount of solar, um, you know, but 15 miles is better than zero. And sometimes there are a lot of sunny days. This is what gets me. It costs about $10,000 to have that. And it comes with a five kilowatt battery inverter and that will send the energy to the truck. So, I don't know. I think that's a good idea. I mean, it, it, whenever you get power from the sun, which is free, you know, that that is a uh, excellent idea to me. The only problem I have is that what if, you know, somebody just scrapes along your solar panel. If they cut along an entire cell, would that stop producing power to your battery? Because it's so thin. I mean, look at that picture there. Look how thin that is as we brought out, it's just a wrap. So I don't know. What do you think? What do you guys think? That That's very interesting. I mean, but $10,000 for that? I'll let you guys weigh the options on that. So now that brings us to what Aptera is offering Tilo, a groundbreaking collaboration between those two companies, Tilo and Aptera. And they're offering choices of up to three solar power enhancement configurations. Um, one is the solar panel on the truck rooftop. And the other one is on the truck bed cover. Uh, the one on the rooftop is integrated panels over the cab, maximizing daily energy generation. Uh, the one over the bed cover is a solar equipped bed cover, which adds power while preserving storage versatility. And then, of course, the third is actually having both one over the rooftop and over the bed of the truck. But here is what you get with Tilo solar panels. They generate up to 200 watts each of peak sunlight, delivering 
one kilowatt per day or up to two kilowatts per day based on location and season. Of course, you have to be in a sunny area uh, to get the best performance out of these solar panels, just like with the Aptera. But the best thing is, and not only does it look nice, as you can see, it's made out of glass. So it's not made out of a wrap and it's not made out of regular solar panels. It's a glass configuration. And just like with that Terra, it's going to be durable. It's going to last for a long time. Uh, they're doing a lot of testing on that already as it is. And so, I mean, to me, uh, the question I want to ask is, what do you think, which one's going to last longer? The wrap for the company that's offering it, they're giving a 15 year warranty. And we know that with that Terra, they're giving a 10 year warranty with their solar panels. So of course the price is going to be very different. Um, with Aptera, I don't think it's going to cost $10,000. I mean, it'll probably be somewhere around five extra thousand dollars. We just don't know yet, but we'll probably be finding out soon. But anyway, um, you guys tell me, what do you think? Which one looks better to you? It's funny with the rat, it looks like the Tesla Cybertruck actually has a tattoo. <laughs> But um, with the Tilo, that actually looked like that's made for the vehicle. That really looks nice from the way it looks. But anyway, I'm going to leave the decision up to you guys, to me, and I'm not being an at terror homie, but the Tilo actually looks better to me. It looked like it just goes with the vehicle much better. Um, the wrap doesn't look bad at, at all. I would just be afraid of if, Somebody keep my vehicle or if they scratched it, uh, how much of the rat would get tore and how would that affect the charging capabilities of the panels that's on the truck. But anyway, we're going to leave it right there. Uh, let you guys make the decision. I'm going to give a shout out to my patrons. Thank you guys very much. You know how much I really appreciate you guys and I appreciate all the help that you give me and you help me keep going with this channel. And if you're new here, just hit the like, ring the bell, subscribe. So my channel could reach out to more people and more people can gain an understanding of what Aptera is doing, as well as what other solar vehicles are doing. But y'all take care of you. Enjoy the rest of your day and we'll catch you later. Y'all have a good one and we'll talk to you in the next video. All right. Bye-bye.